Welcome to this week's episode of Nutty Nerd TV. I'm your host, Greg Brown. Christmas is coming up soon, and hopefully Santa's going to bring you a new iPad under the tree. If you haven't worked with an iPad before, and if you haven't worked with iTunes, you might need a little guidance on getting it all set up. In this episode, I'm going to step you through the process on installing iTunes and then getting it to talk to your iPad so that you can sync movies and music and things like that over to it. It's actually really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to need to do if you haven't done so already is to download and install iTunes. So the way you do that is go ahead and launch your browser. I use Google Chrome, and it really doesn't matter which browser you use. And then go to apple.com. And then on the home page here, you're going to see an iTunes link. So go ahead and click on that, and then it brings you to the iTunes page. And then there's a little download iTunes button. So go ahead and click on that. And then this is the page where we can go ahead and download iTunes. So I typically uncheck these right here. And then you have to put in your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to click on the Download Now button. And it's going to go ahead and download. Now in Chrome, it's going to prompt me if I want to save my download. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So rather than waiting to watch this download, we'll come back once it's finished. OK, it looks like the download uh, downloaded successfully. So what you can do now is you can go ahead and quit out of Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of Chrome. And then I'm going to go to my downloads folder here. And then I can see my disk image for iTunes. So I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to mount a little disk here on my desktop called iTunes 10.1. And then it opens up a window called install iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and, and double click on that install iTunes software package. And then I'm going to click continue, continue again, and then continue again at the uh, license agreement. And then go ahead and click agree, and then click install. And then you're going to be prompted to put in your password, and this is typically your login password. So go ahead and click, click OK once you enter your password. And then it's going to go ahead and install. So rather than waiting and watching this install, once it's done, we'll uh, come back and resume configuring iTunes. Okay, so you can see iTunes installed successfully. So you can go ahead and click close. And then you can close this window right here. And then you can take the, the disk that's mounted on your desktop and go ahead and eject that by grabbing the disk with your mouse, left mouse button, and then dragging it to the trash can. And then it will eject. The next step is to configure iTunes. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and go into our Applications folder and then go to iTunes. And then it's going to launch. And you can see here we don't have any, any music or movies or anything in iTunes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy some music and a movie into iTunes. So um, I have Pink Floyd The Wall. And if I open this up, you can see all the music I have in here. There's about 28 songs. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this entire folder and then I'm going to drag it and just simply drop it in this area right here. And you can kind of see it highlights. So I'm going to drag and drop this entire folder right into here. And then what iTunes is going to do, it's going to index those, those songs and then put it into its catalog. And then so we'll be able to see this music. So it usually takes a couple of minutes to do that. So once that's done, we'll come back. Okay, so you can see that the music is imported into iTunes. And then simply, uh, you can do the same thing with, uh, with movies. So I'm going to go ahead and take this movie right here called Night and Day, and I'm just going to drag and drop it in that same area I did for the music. And then if we click on Movies here, you can see that there's my movie called Night and Day, and then here's all my music right here. The first time you turn on your iPad out of the box, uh, what you're going to see on the screen is a little, little like icon that uh, an iTunes icon, and then a cable kind of pointing towards iTunes. And what it's prompting you to do is to take the iPad and plug it into iTunes. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the white cable that came with your iPad. One end of it you can see kind of plugs into the bottom of the iPad, and the other end is a USB connection. So go ahead and plug it into your iPad and then take that other connection and plug it into your computer. And then once you do that, in a minute, 
iTunes is going to detect your iPad and then it's going to appear on the left hand side here under devices. So since I've already synced my iPad previously to my computer, it's detecting that I have a backup and it's prompting me if I want to restore from a backup. In this case right here, we're going to set this up as a new iPad. So I'm going to select this option right here. And then you can kind of scroll over. Actually, let me make this window a little bit bigger. Then what you can do is go ahead and just click continue. And then it gives you the option to give your iPad a name. So I'm going to give it Greg Brown's iPad. Um, you could, if you want, keep these checked. In this case right here, I'm going to uncheck these because I'm going to show you how you can manually add music and content to your iPad. So go ahead and click done. And then it's going to just do a quick backup. It's only going to take a few seconds since there's no real data on your iPad yet to back up. And then it's going to finish syncing. So the next step would to be, uh, once this is done syncing, is to uh, go ahead and click on uh, music and then, and then uh, copy some music over to it. So what we're going to do... Okay, so once it's done syncing, then what we're going to do is we're going to click on music and you can see that there's no music here. Okay, so you can go ahead and check on sync music and then you have your option to sync your entire library or you can select certain playlists. So if you just wanted to have like for instance just that first disc of Pink Floyd, okay, or whatever music you want, then you can go ahead and do that. In this case right here, I'm just going to sync my entire library. So I'm going to select that option. Then you're going to go to movies. Since we have a movie we want to copy over, you're going to go ahead and select sync movies. Now by default, it doesn't automatically include all movies. And the reason being is perhaps you may have eight or nine or 10 or 20 movies in here. You may not want to copy all the movies to your iPad, taking up a bunch of disk space. So if you want to sync everything, you just go ahead and select that. If not, you just select the movies that you want to sync. So we're just going to select this one movie that we have right now. So going back to music, we're going to sync our entire music library. And then going back to movies, we're just going to sync this one movie. Once we do that, then we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And then it's going to sync everything up and it'll take a few minutes. One thing you may notice down here at the bottom is this little capacity bar. And you can see where your storage on your iPad is being consumed. In this case right here, we have uh, this video. Uh, it's kind of in purple there. That's taking up most of our storage. And then we have about 13 gigabytes of free storage on our iPad. So we have plenty of room to put movies and apps and music and pictures and things like that. So anyway, it's going to take a few minutes to uh, sync this up. So once that's done, we'll come back and go to the next step. Okay, so when everything is done syncing, you can see that there's a little message up here that says iPad sync is complete, okay to disconnect. So we're not going to quite disconnect our, our iPad yet. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here and you can see under the devices, Greg Brown's iPad, and then you can see music, movies, TV shows, books, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and click on music, and then you can see this is all the music that's on the iPad, and then we should have one movie, and there it is right there, night and day. So anyway, at this point, you can go ahead and disconnect your iPad and then start listening to music or watching movies or doing whatever. I hope this information has been useful for you. Until next week, we'll see you again on Nutty Nerd TV. Music